हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मंजू शर्मा फ्रॉम सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज डिजीजेस ऑफ फील एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिजीजेस ऑफ टमेटो सो द फर्स्ट डिजीज इज द सैप्टोरिया लीव स्पोर्ट the causal organism is saptoria lycopersiki symptoms are like less vigorous plant are usually affected small round to irregular spores with a gray center and dark margin on leaves so spores usually starts on lower leaves and gradually advance upward spores collects and leaves are blighted complete defoliation of affected leaves then stems and flowers are sometimes attacked and fruits are rarely attacked so these are the symptoms of saptoria leaf spot Uh, so basically uh, slowly slowly the spores which will be enlarge in the size and then uh, like that the complete leaf will be affected and then it will be dry and fall down survival and spread primary like mycelium or conidia in paxi media in infected plant debris or on solanaceous weed secondary is conidia throat rain splash or wind and also by slimy conidia sticking on to hands and clothing of tomato pickers favorable conditions like poor vigor of plant due to nutrient indequency or in late season high humidity or persistent dew at 250 degree centi sorry 25 degree centigrade moist weather with intermittent showers after that uh, their management how we have to manage the disease so first is like crop rotation with known host destroy infected crop debris seed treatment with mancozeb or ginep 2 g per kg seed spray ginep 0.2% or mancozeb at zero point two percent at ten days interval and tomato line that is p i four double two three nine seven is resistant variety for the saptoria leaf spot which we have to use next disease is the damping off damping off disease the causal organism is phytium apanidermatum the symptoms are damping off of tomato occurs in two stages like the pre emergence and the post emergence phase damping off also in chili so in the pre emergence the phase the seedlings are killed just before they reach the soil surface and the young radical and the plumule are killed and there is complete rotting of the seedling the post emergence phase that characterized by the infection of the young juvenile tissues of the collar at the ground level so the the infected tissues become soft and water shock and the seedlings topple over a collapse 
these are the symptoms of damping of disease in post or in pre emergence phase mode of spread and survival so all the causal organisms are soil inhabitants and they build up in soil with the available host so generally these pathogens have wide host range their management like used raised seed bed provide light but frequent irrigation for better drainage drench with copper oxychloride 0.2% or bordex mixture 1% seed treatment with fungal culture trichoderma viridi 4 g per kg of seed or theorem 3 g per kg of seed is the only preventative measures to control the pre emergence damping of disease spray 0.2% metal exyl when there is the cloudy weather next disease is the early blight disease early blight the causal organism is alternaria solani now what are their symptoms so this is a common disease of tomato occurring on the foliage at any stage of the growth so the fungus attacks the foliage causing characteristics leaf spots and blight early blight is first observed on the plants as small black lesions mostly on the older foliage spores enlarge and by the time they are 1/4 inch in diameter or larger concentric rings in bull's eye pattern can be seen in the center of the disease area tissue surrounding the spores may turn yellow if high temperature and humidity occur at this time then much of the foliage is killed next the lesions on the stems are similar to those on leaves sometime gridling the plant if they occur near the soil line so the fungus also infects the fruit generally through the calyx or stem attachment lesions attain considerable size usually involving nearly the entire fruit concentric rings are also present on the fruit so these are the symptoms of early blight disease of tomato like leaf spots are there and uh, this kind the fruit will be also infected survival and spread like primary the fungus spends the winter in infected plant debris or in or on the soil where it can survive at least one and perhaps several years it can also be seed borne secondary the spores are transported by water wind insects other animals including male and machinery favorable conditions like warm rainy and wet weather management removal and destruction of crop debris practicing crop rotation help to minimize the disease incidence so spray the crop 
with mencozeb 0.2 percent for effective disease control. Next disease is the tomato leaf curl. Causal organism is tomato leaf curl virus. The symptoms are like leaf curl disease is characterized by severe stunning of the plants with downward rolling and crinkling of the leaves. The newly emerging leaves exhibit slight yellow coloration and later they also show curling symptoms. Older leaves which become leathery and brittle so the nodes and internodes are significantly reduced in size. The infected plant look pale and produce more lateral branches giving a bushy appearance. Like these are the symptoms. The size of the leaves will be small and all the leaves will be shrink. Like that. So mode of spread and survival. It is neither seed nor shape transmissible but seeds from fresh fruit having infection may have the virus on the seed coat. The virus is transmitted by white fly, Bemisia, tabicae and grafting. Even a single viruliferous insect is able to transmit the virus. Favorable conditions are like white fly is the vector for transmitting of leaf curl virus. Management like uh, we have to keep yellow sticky traps 12 per hectare to monitor the white fly, raise barrier crops, cereals around the field, removal of weed host. Protected nursery in net house or in greenhouse spray imidacloprid 0.05% or dimethotate 0.05% 15, 25 and 45 days after transplanting to control the vector. Then the next disease is the mosaic disease of tomato. The causal organism is tomato mosaic virus TMV. So the symptoms are like the disease is characterized by light and dark green molting uh, on the leaves. Often a complaint by wilting of young leaves in sunny days when plants first become infected. So the leaflets of affected leaves are usually distorted, puckered and smaller than the normal. The affected plant appears stern, pale green and spindly. These are the symptoms like light uh, leaf size which will be small in the size and the leaves will be wrinkled and the color will be changed like yellow in color. Survival and spread. The virus is spread by contact with clothes, hands of working, labor, touching of infected plants, with healthy ones, plant debris and implements. Management Seeds from disease-free healthy plants 
should be selected for sowing soaking of the seeds in a solution of trisodium phosphate 90 g per liter of water and a day before sowing the seed should be thoroughly rinsed and dried in shade in the nursery all the infected plant which should be removed carefully and destroyed crop rotation with crop other than tobacco potato chili capsicum brinjal etc should be undertaken so this is all about diseases of tomato how the pathogen which will be survive and spread and how we can manage the disease thank you crop is diseases of egg plant or brinjal so the botanical name of brinjal is solanum melongena and the family is solanaceae little leaf the first disease is the little leaf phytoplasma or the little leaf which goes by phytoplasma infection is initially observed in one branch and later the entire plant shows symptoms reduction in size of newly formed leaves reduction in petiole length making the leaves appear to be sticking to the stem affected plants have narrow soft smooth and yellow shorter leaves then the internodes of the stem are also shortened axillary buds gets enlarged but their petioles and leaves have remains shortened giving the plant a bushy appearance mostly there is no flowering but if flowers are found or formed they remain green so fruiting is rare and if any fruit is formed it becomes hard tough and fails to mature and you uh, young fruit turns necrotic gets benefit necrotic get mummified and cling to the plant basically uh, these are the symptoms of little leaf disease of brinjal or eggplant in which the leaves are collapsed and the leaves are wrinkled and the size of the leaves is small that's why the name given little leaf because the size of the leaves is very small as compared to healthy plants survival and spread primary and secondary survival primary the pathogen survives in collateral weed host like the thura fastiosa the thura is the thura estremonium catharanthus rogius argimon mexicana and transmitted to get egg plant by jesidus and the second day is the leaf hopper which which is hisimonas phyticus their management like tolerant variety fuchsia purple brown fuchsia purple cluster and arga seed so these are the resistant varieties for this disease and by which we can maintain the 
disease after that we have to destruction of affected plants eradication of solidus plants spray methyl dimeton 2 ml per liter or dimethotrate 2 ml per liter then the next disease is the bacterial bacterial wilt so the causal organism that is ralstonia solanaceum the symptoms are like sudden wilting and death of infected plant is the characteristic symptoms so the period of older leaves drop down and the leaves show apinesty symptoms are complained by yellowing and stunning of cool plant typical browning of vascular tissues of roots and stems can be seen from cross section of infected plants whitish bacterial oze come out like uh, that is bacterial wilt disease and their symptom so in which basically the all the leaves are wilt and they will be after wilting the leaves will be dry and then they will be fall uh, immaturely survival and spread like primary survival or secondary survival primary the bacterium bacterium cells is both seed and soil borne in nature and overwinters in 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 infected cells in both seed and soil borne in nature and overwinters in infected plant parts in soil so in wild host the plants and weeds secondary like bacterial cells spread throughout irrigation water or infested soil and agricultural implements and favorable conditions like relatively high soil moisture and soil moderate temperature favor the disease development continuous cultivation of solanaceous crop in the same field management like growing resistant varieties like plant samrat arkanidhi arkas kesha arka nilkantha surya and bb1 44 and 40 9 crop sorry green manuring with brassica species that is biofumigation soil solarization with a with a transparent polythin sheet that is 125 mu m thick for 8 to 10 weeks during march to june in nurseries biocontrol with pseudomonas fluorescens and with pseudomonas cefaciaceae bacillus species and then formopsis fruit rot or blight disease so the causal organism is the formopsis vaccines their economic importance are like the disease is severe 
in tropical tropical and subtropical areas of the world so in india it was reported in 1935 in gujarat the pathogen joint the disease is severe in tropical and subtropical areas of the world so in india it was reported in 1935 so the pathogen attacks foliages foliages and fruits but the later phase is more destructive so their symptoms like the plants are attacked at all stages of growth growth producing damping of symptoms in nurseries and collar rot on your un young plants so on leaves like circular to irregular clearly defined grayish brown spots having light centers appear so the diseased leaf become yellowish in color and may drop off several black puffy media on leaves circular to irregular clearly defined grayish brown spots having light centers appear the disease uh, leaves become yellowish in color and may drop off so several black puffy media can be seen or the lesions on stem are dark brown round to oval and have gray center with puffy media develop at the base of the stem the fungus causes characteristic uh, construction leading to canker development and toppling of the so on fruits a small pale shakan spot showing concentric ring after which on enlargement over entire fruit surface so these spots become watery leading to soft rot phase of the disease a large number of dot like puffy media also develop it on such spots so the infection of fruit throat calyx lead to development of dry rot and fruits appear black and mummified so basically these are the symptoms there are different different types of symptom like typically blight and fruit rot disease symptoms on brinjal diagram a to c leaf blight symptom diagram d to s d that is stem blight symptoms e f fruit rot disease and g z and uh, g to j there is puffinia puffinia on necrotic leaves then uh, their survival and their spread so the primary is pathogen is seed borne and also survive in plant debris as mycelium and puffinia and the secondary is like conidia depressed throat rain splash irrigation irrigation water and agricultural tools and insects favorable conditions
favorable conditions for pathogen that is high relative humidity coupled with higher temperatures favor disease development then the maximum disease development takes place at about 26 degree centigrade under wet weather conditions Year management procuring seeds from healthy fruits followed by seed treatment with thiopanet methyl at 1 gram per kg seed or cold water treatment of seed at 500 degree centigrade for 30 minutes. Uh, so, due to this, and by the seed treatment, uh, we can control the disease. So, there is practicing crop rotation and summer pluggings help in reducing the initial inoculum. Because, uh, like if crop rotation will be there, then the same pathogen which will be not provide uh, the nutrients for the pathogen. That's why we can overcome the effect of the pathogen by using the like uh, by applying the crop rotation and summer plugging. In summer plugging and due to the summer plugging Basically, the soil which will be exposed in uh, sun and in sunlight, that's why the loads of microbes, those are present in the soil or pathogen, which cause harm to the plant. So, they all will be destroyed because uh, the temperature is so high. So, due to this summer plugging, is a very good practice to manage the any kind of disease. So removal and destruction of diseased crop debris and we have to remove and destruct the crop debris because uh, in the absence of the host, uh, the crop debris and the waste material of the crops, those can provide nutrients for the pathogen growth. Because if the crop debris will be there, that means uh, now the pathogens, those can easily harvest And we have to always clean and removal and destruction of the crop debris from the field. Because due to the off season, basically they will be provide the nutrients to the pathogen. Then spray twice with thiophanate methyl or carbondazim 1% at 20 days interval. Resistant varieties like Florida Beauty, Solanum Gilo, Solanum Macrospora, and like resistant varieties are Florida Beauty, Solanum Gilo, Solanum 
macrocarpa and solanum integrifolium are wild resistant donors the frombotes fruit rot or blight disease the causal organism is pomopsis vaccans economic importance are like the disease is severe in tropical and in subtropical area in india it was reported in 1935 in gujarat and so the pathogen attacks foliage and fruit but the later phase is more destructive their symptoms are like the plants are attacked at the all stages of growth producing damping of symptoms in nurseries and collar rot on young plants so on leaves circular to irregular clearly defined grayish brown spots having light centers appears so the diseased leaf become yellowish in color and may drop off several black bugs in media can be seen on older spots so the lesions on the stems are dark brown round to oval and have gray centers where the so several black puxi media can be seen on other folder so the lesions on the stem are dark brown round to oval and and have gray centers where the puxi media develop at the phase of so on fruits small pale shakar spores following so the lesions on the stem are dark brown round to oval and have gray centers where oxymeria develop and at the base of the stem the fungus causes characteristics constriction leading the pathogen and toppling of the plants so on fruits small pale shakar spores showing the concentric uh, organs on fruits small pale shakan spore showing concentric rings appear with on like enlargement curve time which on enlargement cover entire fruit surface so these spores become watery leading to soft or soft phase soft rod phase of the disease so a large number of dot like so the infection of fruit throat calyx leads to development of dry rot and fruits appear black in color 
so the infection of fruit throat calyx which leads to development of dry rot and fruit appear black and mummified so these are the symptoms of the disease here are different different stages survival and spread like primary and secondary survival primary that means the pathogen is seed borne and also survive in plant debris as mycelium and pachyneria the secondary are the conidia dispersed through drain splashes irrigation water and agricultural tools and diseases the favorable conditions are like high relative humidity which coupled with a higher temperature favor disease development and maximum disease development tax takes place at about 20 degrees centigrade it's about under wet weather conditions dear management like procuring seeds from healthy fruits followed by seed treatment with thiophonic methyl at 1 g per kg seed or hot water treatment of seed at 500 degree centigrade for 30 minutes so practicing crop rotation and summer plugging which helps in reducing the initial inoculum removal and destruction of diseased crop debris spray twice with thiophonate methyl or carbendazim 1% one percent at 20 days interval and the resistant variety like florida beauty solenum gilo and macro macrocarpa and solenum integrifolium and wall while distant while resistant donors so up to here like uh, there are the diseases of brinjals there how uh, they will be survive and how they will be spread and how the pathogen which uh, manage their diseases so these all are the major diseases of brinjal thank you